Hello, you adorable fluff butts out there, and welcome to another Grey Muzzle Talk. And first things first, since you guys will probably have immediately noticed, the content in the background is from a lovely little game called Brewmaster that was gifted to me not too terribly long ago by a good friend. By the way, thank you again, Burb. Om nom. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of this particular video, shall we? You see, recently I had an interesting conversation on Twitter with an individual that goes by Frostbite, and yes, I know I wasn't going to name names in this series, but this one kind of feels like it's a requirement at this point because of the conduct that's occurred. And you'll probably hear me say this at least once or twice more throughout this video, but context is a requirement in most things in life, so let's give the context here first, shall we? You see, there's been a heated debate online recently about whether or not pup hoods, or really any form of fetish gear, should be allowed in public. And personally, where I stand is, if you are wearing it for the sake of actual sexualization, i.e. you're wearing the pup hood with little to nothing else, then yeah, no, keep that in your room, that needs to stay in private. But, I mean, if you're fully clothed and wearing a pop hood to express yourself, then, by all means, go ahead. I don't personally see anything wrong with it. After all, pretty much anything that you wear can technically be fetishized. This includes everything from a collar or a harness or a pop hood to high heels. Frostbite, meanwhile, believes that if you wear anything that can be remotely sexualized in public, it means you are a deviant and a freak. And no, I'm not saying this because... Oh, my feelings are hurt. No, I'm saying this because this is exactly what he has stated. And by the way, while in the middle of recording this, somebody actually decided to tweet at me a question of, well, who will watch this video? And they just so happen to have a fucking iron cross pinned to their Twitter account. Oh lord, one of this guy's fans just made him look so much worse. But back to the topic at hand, I was having what I thought was a civil debate with this person, asking questions about what they thought about things like collars or neko ears or any other thing that could be fetishized trying to prove a point of context matters in what you're wearing. And I'll admit, he was civil for the first good little bit of it, but then he decided to block me and start shit-talking me from behind a block. Which, I need to point out, this individual has flipped out at people for, quote, calling him a MAGA fascist, and what he's doing here is essentially the same thing, just with different labels, because he has called me everything from a freak to trying to claim that I'm, quote, okay with exposing my kinks around children. And to specify something, I'm also the person who has gone on record stating that if you are wearing kink gear at something like Pride, if you're wearing it for the sake of self-expression and you're not showing off your dick, then good on you. But if you're one of those people that goes out in nothing but your gear, you need to stay away, especially if people are allowing children to these events. Now, I kind of want to open the door to all of you. I, I want to know what you think. So, what we're going to do is this. I want you guys to leave comments down below, letting me know what you think on this particular topic, whether or not it's okay or not, if context matters, and specifically, I want to know what you guys think about Frostbite's conduct here. Now, I will point out there is a requirement on this channel of keep it civil. If you are on this particular person's side of this argument, you might want to send a heated response, but understand, that's not really going to fly here because civility, much like context, is a requirement in all things. Oh, and for those of you watching who are on my particular side of this, I will say if you decide to go out and try to harass this individual, I will personally remove you from the community we have built here on this channel because I do not condone harassment and I detest any fucking person who is willing to go out and do this. Dehumanization and harassment are not okay from any side of a conflict, ever. Anyways, that's all for this particular talk, so for now, buh bye bye